Shalom, shalom. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you to stop trying to convince them. They are the opposition. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at an In Them Trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, when you are an infant in your journey of walking in truth and keeping the commandments, you know, you can very easily cause yourself to go through a persecution that is not the persecution that the Most High Yah is talking about. Man, biblically, we see when Messiah was going into these temples and these synagogues, teaching them in truth, standing up and reading as he was trying to, you know, save his own city. There's multiple places in passage where it talks about people being offended and people gnashing their teeth. And the word says, you know, uh, he left these places and not many people were healed because of their unbelief. Man, oftentimes in the beginning of your journey, you know, you would like to think that there is, you know, there's the wicked, then there's normal people, and then there's the righteous. And for people that you don't call wicked, you place them in the normal category because they 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 don't favor one side or the other, righteousness or wickedness. So you say that no 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 that's my that's my mama that's my family they're in the normal side you know the rules don't apply to them I'm going to tell you man you're wasting a lot of time trying to minister unto the enemy There is no normal side There is no nowhere in the book where you see people that don't believe are making it to the kingdom People that don't keep the commandments are making it to the kingdom So what you have is the ops, the enemy, those that are in direct opposition against the most high because they have made themselves a friend of this world. Today, I'm here to tell you, stop trying to convince them. Stop trying to convince them. You're sitting up trying to convince people that when you know that they have a need and you try to give them the word, they wanna hang up on you. Now they don't have time for it. As long as you're sitting up listening to their foolishness, they got all the time in the world. I'm telling you, man, you're gonna meet, uh, you know, uh, friends, people in the world. This could be even your own family. You got nobody got healed or saved that didn't want to be saved. Listen to me. You gotta think about the average person that's living their life in sin, unrepented. It's gotta take its course. And you can pray that they they, they they seek the Most High Yah's face, but that's the individual choice they have to make before time runs out. You know, it doesn't matter. You are, you know, you're sitting up here uh, uh, praying for all these blessings on people, and these blessings are stored up for the righteous. But yet, you yourself in your effort of getting the truth out and wanting people to be saved, you start thinking you can save people by giving them the truth and you're you're met with their rejection of truth. Man, when you see people that are flat out contrary to the word of Yah, take the word of the Most High Yah, you know, and, 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 and you trying to help them out for their soul salvation sake will bite you. I'm telling you to walk away. You cannot spend time around people who are not uh, you know, Yah's people. You got to think, you can go around, you can ask somebody, do they want help? Do they want spiritual help from the Most High? And if they tell you, oftentimes these people want to want to flood your prayer list, want you to always be in prayer for them because they going through it. But I tell you, you might want to pray that they 
seek the most high Yah's faith. It's a reason why they're in some of these circumstances and these situations, these conditions that they're in. They only want help so they don't have to go through the pain of some of the choices that they made. You gotta be able to spot the enemy out here. It's not that there's okay, there's the worldly people who are normal, and then you got the completely wicked people, and then you got the righteous. No, it's the wicked and the righteous. Split it straight up the middle. Even with your loved ones. There's the wicked, and then there's the righteous. You see what I'm saying? But a lot of these adults, they don't choose the most high. They choose themselves. They choose this worldly life. You know, they choose the way of wickedness. And when you when you meet them with the truth of the Most High Yah, and saying, "Hey, this is this is this is why there's consequences," these people will turn on you. And here you are trying to minister to them. And Messiah Himself didn't minister until nobody that. He didn't over minister to people that didn't want to be ministered to. He wasn't in there trying to change the minds of offended people. No, he walked away and not many were healed because of their own belief. Wasn't a problem with the word he was given. He just knew when to walk away. Closer to y'all ministries kicking a gun, barrel straight. Wow.